Hello everyone, my name is Nakash Ahmed and you are watching North 365 Academy. I hope you are all doing good. So in today's video, I'm going to show you uh, how uh, parents can use uh, or assess their teams for students or for their uh, children. So uh, what happens is in previous videos uh, or in many videos, we have just focused on uh, teachers and students. So, uh, but today I decided to focus on parents. How can they assess? their students uh, uh, assignments their students performance uh, and how they how can they assess their students uh, activities on teams so uh, in today's video i'm going to show you the parents perspective how can they do it and uh, while their students are learning remotely on teams how can they sit uh, sit beside him or her and uh, check on what he is doing and what uh, activities he is being performing okay and uh, how can they receive a weekly digest email uh, for their assignments which are due or, or not okay so let's start i am uh, in my uh, let's say i am as a signed in as a parent uh, but in fact let's log out myself okay so i will show you from the beginning how can a parent can assess or see uh, the students or the children's okay so right now i am logged off uh, let me join again. So this is the Teams desktop application. Okay. So if you are a parent, just make sure that your student has uh, a valid uh, school account or, or a university account, uh, whichever he is in studying. So make sure that he has a valid account. Okay. So right now I am signing in my own account here okay click sign in so when he is or your children is your child is signed in you need to make sure he is a part of on the relevant teams okay so if he is a part of a school so he you need to make sure that he the, his classes and his and his subject uh, are all listed as a teams whatever their their teacher has decided so uh, let's assume that i'm a student and uh, my parent is assessing uh, whichever teams i have so it should be like my classes okay so like here if i am the part of class 1a it should be there so if there is any teams missing the parent should contact uh, the teacher or the school uh, to uh, uh, create the teams relevant teams okay so make sure the teams are there for your student or for your child okay the next thing to make sure is to uh, see if there is any channels also uh, because channels are used to uh, segregate the uh, class assignments or class projects or any discussion project or anything so make sure there are relevant channels also okay and the next thing is to make sure that the student can is able to your child is able to chat also or share files also you can also see this if this file or tab is appearing so it means uh, he or she can uh, send the file so make sure uh, this as well and the next thing also to make sure is uh, if there are any other students who are uh, communicating with him so you need you can see uh, whoever in the team in the manage team section okay so he can see the members but you will not see the uh, anything like this this is the mute student part because i am as a global administrator but as a student as a child you you will not be able to see this you seeing this okay so make sure uh, your class members are also there and they're all the relevant members okay and uh, one more thing is to uh, make sure that uh, your student is a is not uh, sending any appropriate messages any uh, uh, bad things uh, in the team's channel okay so if any other student is doing it you need to report it with the teacher okay uh, i also like to uh, address here for the, the teachers to make sure the policies of messaging policies are rightly enabled on the channel so your students would not be able to send any inappropriate messages during the class or after the class or any time okay make sure the teacher should make sure that the students should ap appear as muted because otherwise they will be sending these messages okay so these are some tips uh, one more thing 
uh, if uh, your student uh, is doing any assignments make sure the assignments tab is there because this is the most important part for any student or teacher so make sure the assignments tab uh, he has been is appearing here if not then you should consult with your teacher though your parent should ask your teacher okay make sure the assignment tab is there the next thing is uh, if they are receiving any uh, uh, digest for assignments so that is actually a part of uh, uh, the school IT administrator or the system administrator team so all they have to do is if they if they are the parents are not receiving the weekly digest email so the parents should report it to uh, the teachers management the teacher or the school management and the IT administrators of those schools shall, shall come to this admin portal of teams okay go into the assignments tab and make sure this is turned on weekly guardian email digest okay make sure this is turned on if that is turned on then the uh, teachers or then the parents should be receiving the emails okay uh, apart from this uh, the, 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 there is a prerequisite for this weekly digest email there there the email addresses of parents should also be onboarded on the school uh, school data sync okay so i will be posting the url of school data sync how can you do it so you can try all that okay so these are some tips for the parents uh, how can they assess the teacher how can they assess the uh, this child this student uh, how is he performing and uh, how is he doing in the team sessions and during the classrooms okay so they will be uh, very much satisfied okay so that was a, a nice short video for parents thank you so much for watching if you like it please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and do watch my previous videos for microsoft teams and if you have any suggestions any recommendation please go ahead and uh, drop your comments thank you